morning everybody and welcome to Nijmegen, I think that's the right pronunciation, here in uh, Holland because yeah we're here for what is touted one of the biggest races in the world but for a lot of people in the UK they probably won't have heard of it. So yeah, here we are, it's about around about 30,000 people, vast vast majority uh, Dutch um, and a few Germans as well because we're quite close to the German border here in the east of uh, the Netherlands. So yeah, it's 15k, it's called the Seven Hills. They've managed to find basically the only seven hills in the whole of Holland and put them here just outside of the town. And yeah, so it's uh, certainly not a f the usual sort of flat Dutch style race. But yeah, a few hills go up, 15k, and it is Baltically cold. It's about one or two degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, I was going to say this morning, but it's about lunchtime now because the race starts at one o'clock. So yeah, we're going to go and check in, get our numbers and yeah, then sort of have a look around, take in all the atmosphere because there's so many people here and all the atmosphere is building really nicely. So yeah, we'll do that and then we'll have a chat about what our hopes and goals are for the race. We'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so we've picked up the number and yeah, really getting quite excited now. It's started to warm up a little bit, but yeah, it's gonna be pretty cold out there. So might even be taking the massive uh, sort of ski gloves out there. But yeah, sort of singlet shorts and yeah, obviously got the next percents on. I am looking for some new shoes to try out some different things other than Nikes. Let me know down in the comments, some, some shoe suggestions. Trying to get hold of some of the Carbon X Hokers at the moment, but they seem to be sold out everywhere, apart from one shop in Hong Kong that had a pair, but by the time you had all the import tax on, they would have cost a fortune. So yeah, all open for some new ideas on some shoes. Let me know, be good to try out some new stuff. But anyway, back to today. So as the, the whole thing of this whole series, it's just about having some fun. We're here to see, yeah, kind of a new country for Sarah and we're here just to explore, but that doesn't mean we're gonna go around in a nice moderate effort. We're gonna give it full gas, as Killian would say, all the way around, have some fun. And yeah, just see what happens. It, it, you know, these things, they, they're just about learning, being back in racing, just have a bit of a race, just get in a sort of a nice group with some people around. And yeah, it is, it is quite hilly, um, especially at the start where you go up, I'll put the profile on the screen now. So yeah, quite a hard start. We're going at nice and moderate effort to the start. And then hopefully for the last few Ks, we can, uh, yeah, sort of unleash uh, down that final hill at the end. Just been doing a little warm up, a jog, getting ready, some dynamic stretches, and I must also say, the organisation's been just amazing for such a massive event, really, in a in a tiny little town. It's uh, been really incredible. Okay. Um, yeah. Here's the spot line right here. All the bikes. Yeah, I must just say, if you haven't realised yet, this is a huge, huge event. There'll be loads of Africans, loads of proper elite runners. I haven't actually looked at the start list, so I'm not exactly sure yet. But yeah, all the motor cycle outliers, press from all around the country. Yeah, if you're in Holland, you probably know all about this. But not many other people from around Europe and the UK probably never heard of this event. So really check it out. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to getting going now. Going to do some more stretches. Just got this little warm up area here to get going. And then and yeah, it's go time. Here we go. 15 kilometers all the way from Nijmegen to Nijmegen. I suppose it's a big loop. The Seven Hills loop. Right, I'm getting left for dead at the moment. Let's open the legs up. Got a little flat. And then the first 5k is all pretty much uphill. Whoa! Marathons are normally a bit more casual than this. This is rapid. Right, let's go. Here we go, it's coming up to the first k. It is about 310. I haven't got laps turned on. So, about 310. And oh, the depth of the field, I'll put it about 250 to 300, it is insane. Right, so a bit, K2, 
6.27 get laps 3.13 average pace so far Camille Bascom is just over ahead big blonde hair so very good elite Aussie runner I try and close the gap a bit but she'll be a good person to her pace around here oh, me trying to hang on to her she's far better runner than me right guys coming through 5k in 16 38 yeah the hill's taking that toll now but 10k to go a third of the way feeling pretty good water station but don't really need any but good opportunity thank you to the volunteers out there today making the race happen good on you right guys halfway to her just cutting down that big hill and now gotta get back up this side oh the Netherlands is not bad but when the race is called seven hills you know you're gonna get a few right near the top come on dig deep right guys just through 10k about 33 ish have to look it up I go for wasn't working when we went through but yeah gonna be a big hill now and then down here to the finish come on and then k gone 36 40 man that was a tough day but Woo! Great support and the course. Right, come on. 4K to go. minutes and about 3.20 pace 3k to go about 10 minutes more of work let's just knuckle down and try and get that average down a little bit uh, 13 still at 3.20 can't quite get that down come on you can do it you can do it 14k 3.19 come on we got it down season coming is just there Let's see if we can get past. Last K, 900 meters. Come on, good to go. Man, I'm working hard. Come on. Come on, mate. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Great crowds. 200 to go. Oh, I'm knackered. Can't even lift up my arm. Come on! 150! Oh. Last 100 meters! Uh, 9.30 on the watch and uh, 15.04k and 3.17k pace up those hills I am chuffed a bit today smash the A goal yeah. oh. Whoa. right let's go in warm down taking the atmosphere 
Susan Cronin's there. What a race. What a race. What a race. Coming. Try it out next year. Just amazing. Loved every minute. Oh, I always get a bit Good to be back racing strong again. Right guys, just having a walk down, trying to take that all in. But yeah, that is just, I really did not expect to run like that today. Over those hills and everything as well. That, you know, that is not a flat course. In 49, 30 is a real dream job. Um, yeah, I've lost a lot of confidence over the last few weeks with Berlin and Frankfurt and just to be back running strong and oh, it's just yeah, so, so happy. What a result. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I wasn't going to take the camera because I've lost so much confidence recently, just wanted to forget about it, but so glad I did. And yeah, there we go. Back to again. It's only 15k. And the next event. Thank you. Next event. Cheers. Next event is uh, uh, 49.30. 49.30. How about you? I forgot you. I forgot your hat. <laughs> okay. I got it. It's extra weight. <laughs> well done. Yeah, next event, 100k in the South African mountains. What a difference that's going to be. But as we, after the main man sage, any service, any distance, getting it done. Right, we're going to go and see Sarah. Come on. So how did we go, Sarah? 105. 105. Happy with that? Yeah. There you go. No goal. Having, your fun, having fun goal. Yeah. Right guys, and just like magic, we're back at London Heathrow. London Stansted, even. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, really enjoy putting these things together. If you like this kind of thing, please subscribe because we've got loads more stuff. And if you haven't seen Sarah's video, who's here, she uh, ran 100 miles in 24 hours or sub 24 hours. Don't want to give it away, so go and give that a watch. And we'll link to that at the end of the video. And thanks for all the support. Please smash that like button if you like this kind of video and let me let us know always down in the comments we love to hear all about what you're up to in your running and yeah follow us along for all amazing adventures we're heading off to south africa soon for the ultra trail cape town 100k uh, race all up in the mountains there and yeah that's kind of it thank you to all the patrons as well we couldn't make this channel possible without all the patreon support and we're getting lost in the airport <laughs> trains this way and yeah for really accomplished ultra runners we're not very good at navigating so yeah that's it guys as usual thanks for all the support the likes the shares and please subscribe and yeah what we're we gonna do sarah i can't do my thumbs i've got too much in my hands we'll see you in the next one <laughs>